In this video, we're going to be discussing how you can create a website in minutes using the AI Website Builder by Hostinger. Probably one of the nicest things about using a website builder like this is that it means that you do not have to have any technical skills. So you can use drag and drop. And overall, it's just very easy to edit the style, edit the text, edit the images within your web page. So this is the business website builder. So let's have a look at this plan and see what's included. We can see that we've got things like free domain name, free email, uh, drag and drop editor. You can choose from over 150 templates. There's marketing integrations, mobile editing, um, and lots of AI tools built into this like AI writer, blog generator, uh, heat map generator, uh, image generator. So there are lots of useful AI tools built into this package. Now normally you would have to go and get all of these individually from different websites, but this is all integrated into the website builder. So when you put all of this together, it makes it much, much easier to build a website using AI. So now that we've covered what this product does and what it is, let's look at how we can check out and purchase it. And then we will do a dummy walkthrough of setting up a website. So I'm going to add this to my cart. So I'm taking the business website builder and I will use a 48 month plan. And you can see at the moment that is the best saving if you're wanting to purchase this. So now we want to create an account or sign in. And then on the left side, we can choose how we want to pay for this. Um, you can see here that there are a lot of discounts already on this package. So this is already heavily discounted. If you want to get additional savings on top of this, you can visit the link hostinger.com slash David B. And that will give you the best price for this package. So the coupon code David B. And I've included a link in the video description below. So once we have completed the checkout, then we will have access to this via the dashboard once we sign in. So the first step is to click create. We want to create a new website and we'll hit on the next button. And at this point, you can choose between WordPress with AI or Hostinger website builder. So I'm going to go for the second option here and I'm going to use a temporary domain. So we don't really want to pick a domain at this point, but if you have one, you can enter it there specifically at that stage. We are now ready to begin creating our website. You can see we also have this option of using a pre-made template, but in this case, I'm going to just begin this from scratch. So the next step is to enter some details about our brand name, uh, the type of website that we're creating. Um, so there are some ideas here that we can use this example, um, and I'm just going to use this, an exa this example as a shortcut to get this up and running. Um, so let's create this based on Italian wines. Um, so I'm going to copy most of this and just paste it back in. And we can personalize this a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to set the style to elegant. And you can see now once we put the text into this uh, text area that it gives us a description. Um, so it rates our description based on the length. Um, so if we basically want to be giving it a longer description so it knows exactly what it is that we want. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to make this a blog. And we'll call this Italian wine specialist. So this is just a very rough description I'm using here just to create something to show you. So we'll go through the process now of writing some content for us to begin. Um, so we'll automatically create a few blog posts for us just to start with. It will build the initial page for us. Um, and then we can use the AI tools to modify that and fine tune it the way we want it to be. Um, so you can see we now have this template. Um, so this has been created for us by AI. We have this uh, opening paragraph uh, and an h1 tag at the top. We have some images. We have some blog posts. Um, so overall, this is quite nice so far. Of course, my description could have been better. I think I just copy and pasted the restaurant description. Um, so the, some of the content is more specific to like a restaurant, um, but we're going to modify it using these AI tools in this video. And one nice thing here is that it also gives us a mobile view. So this is optimized for both mobile and desktop, which is very nice. Um, we'll just scroll down. Everything looks quite good so far. So at this point, we are previewing the site. And if you drag on anything, you will see that it is just uh, static. We can't really do anything with it right now. So the first step is to click the Edit Site button at the top right. And you will see that it allows us to change all of these different things on the web page. Um, so we have some options on the left side of the screen. We have this little navigation bar. 
Um, but the first thing I want to do here is to change this image. So this is a food image because we didn't update the uh, description we were creating this, uh, this AI website initially. Um, so this gives us an example of how we can modify things that are automatically generated for us. So in this case, I'm going to write a, a description of the image that I want to put here. Um, so we're going to create an image based on a glass of red wine next to a bottle. Um, so this will give us some AI images that we can use. And you do need to have credits to do this a lot. Um, so I'm just going to use it as an example here in this video. So the AI image generator has given us four different versions of images based on our description. And I think that these are quite nice, actually. I think we can work with this. Um, so I'm going to take one of these and just replace this top left image. Um, so you can click around, see how they look, how it feels. And I think this one's quite nice, so let's go with this. Close this down. You can do different things here, like cropping the image, uh, duplicating it. And you can change whether it's at the front or the back. Um, so you can layer these images. I'm going to edit the second image, and you can change it using the images I've already generated. So because we generated four at once, uh, we can select any of these and use them for additional images on the page. So it's very easy to change. Um, perhaps we can change this text now using the AI Writer. So at every step of the way, we can use one of these AI tools to simplify the process. So we can just give it a description, and it will give us some generated text that we can use. Um, so I think that this is just a very nice way of editing a website rather than having to come up with everything by yourself. Um, so AI really saves a lot of time in this area, especially for things like image generation and text generation. So the result is that it has given us quite a lot of text. The text is actually quite nice to read, but I think we don't need as much uh, as much content as this at this part of the page. Um, so we're going to delete this top part, and we will just take some of this text and keep it at the top. Uh, we can use some of this text in other parts of the page if we want to. I'm just going to keep this top paragraph and delete the rest. We can then edit this text to modify the style. Maybe you want to make this bigger, for example. You can change the heading um, to a different heading size, perhaps. Um, you can you know, change things like the font size and uh, bolded the text and, and different things like that. But I think in general, when changing these kind of styles, you might want to do it at the entire page level. Um, so we can do that on the left navigation. You'll see the website styles, and there are different fonts in here we can use. Um, we also have the color scheme of the page, too. Um, but you can see here that we're using this uh, default font right now. And you can change this to uh, any number of different options here. You can also change the font size for these different headers. Um, so it's probably better to do it in this way to keep the styles consistent throughout your website. Um, but you can also do it at the individual level on any individual page. Um, we can also change the button styles here. You can see that by default, this is a square button right now, but um, I think that individually you can change this. Um, again, you can drag them around, move it around, uh, change the color, add border, radius, things like that to make it rounded. Um, so there are lots of styling and, and easy changes that you can make to, to customize each part of your website. We can also use the AI page generator. So this will allow us to create pages automatically using AI. Um, so we can just give a basic description. There are some nice examples here. Um, so you can create a specific page based on using this AI prompt. Um, and that will give you images, text, uh, different layouts and things all pre-generated for you. Um, so this is a nice way to just uh, get some content together uh, and build the pages automatically. And then we can just modify them using these same tools that we have used already. Um, so I'm going to test this out. So let's create a page about the history of wine. So the history of Italian wine and why the region is famous for its vineyards. 
The one thing that struck me here when I was doing this is that it's actually quite quick to generate these pages. I think it takes about maybe 10 seconds in total uh, once you put the description in. Um, but you can see that we've got lots of different images here generated for us. And we have different sections to this page. Um, like for example, at the bottom we have this map. Um, you may or may not want to keep some of these parts of the page. So for example, we can edit this section. Um, just to show you, you can change the background color, the layout. Uh, or we can just delete it entirely, which I'm going to do. Um, at the bottom, we have these blog posts, which is quite nice too. Um, so you can have related posts here. You can add additional sections. You can see at the bottom of the screen. Um, we can even edit these posts from this page. Um, but overall, I quite like how this has been laid out. And um, each of the different sections provided is very well spaced out. And it just looks quite nice overall. I think I'll remove this image at the top though, just delete that. And then we'll drag this top section to reduce the height a little bit since we removed the image. Um, so overall it looks quite nice. Uh, you can customize this more as you wish, um, but this is quite a nice way to see how we can just use AI tools to build each of these pages. So the final step here is just to go live with this. Well, the button on the top right, once you click it, um, it will give you a prompt if you want to check it on the mobile view, but I'm just going to go ahead and publish this right now. And you can see that our site is now live. Um, and if we open this up, we will see that we have our basic page all designed by AI. And we can scroll down. We've got all of the basic features here that we need. Uh, you can go ahead and customize this much further, but I just wanted to keep this video quite short um, just to give you an idea of what's possible. We may explore this a bit more in further depth, but Overall, I'm really impressed by this, and I really like how it integrates AI to make building websites much faster and easier. Um, this is the final page that we created, which was the history of wine. And we have this nice little transition where the images fade in as you scroll on the page. Um, so overall, I'm very impressed with this. It is a very nice experience to build a website using this tool. If you want to create your own website using the Website AI Builder, and make sure to take advantage of the link in the video description below. So that's hostinger.com slash David B. And that will give you additional discount on this package. So that's about it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, take care and I will see you guys in the next video.